Okay, welcome back to more Let's Play Lock and Chase Blind. Yeah, I'm back at the title screen because I found out that if you're not holding... If you're not holding up, the first chance you get to pause, he already, like, took a step towards you. And he's already so close. Oh my gosh, why didn't you go up? Why didn't you get, uh, go for me? But yeah, he is, he is all up on your round booty. And, um, yeah, so I figured let's just, uh, go back, it's fine. I do like how the game is really nice with, um... Like, it doesn't send you back to the uh, start of the game or whatever. You just have to start the level over. Oh, okay, we have to go there last. I guess I should have paid attention when I was on uh, this screen. Okay, so go there last. Is he programmed? He must just be programmed to do that. Yeah, because that's totally unfair. Okay, so we're going to have to walk through the wall. Uh, somewhere. Uh, here? Okay. But uh, in the last one... Oh, yeah, we got... Uh, we beat some levels, and... Uh, and, uh, yeah, I talked, uh, what did I talk about? Oh, I talked about my voice for way too long. Was I done talking about that? That is a thing that Let's Players, like, a lot of times have to deal with. They get, like, distracted, and then they don't finish what they were talking about, and then they end the episode. But, uh, yeah, a good example is when I played, uh, Super Metroid Redesign, I mentioned that I had started a new station at my job. Uh, I work at a boat motor factory, and I started, like, a different... Like, we call it a different job, but it basically means a new station. I started a new station, and I got, like, one sentence into it. And then I just, like, I, like got distracted and just, like, never went back. What the hell am I supposed to do? Hmm. Okay, I think we just have those three dots, so we should be okay. I got distracted. Oh, wait, why did you come after me that time? Oh, my gosh. Go, go, go! Wow. Oh my god, you can't reach him! What are you supposed to do? <laughs> That's totally impossible. Was there a diamond in that level? I don't think there was a... I didn't see a diamond. Maybe it appeared uh, off screen. Oh my gosh, you almost need a diamond to like... To get those ones. Yeah, if he decides to go up... The only other thing I could have done was keep going up. Oh my god. This, like, turned, like, unfair, like, real quick. It was, like, 100%. Oh, I'm dumb. I have to trap him, dur. Okay, well, I, uh, I take it back. Okay, please appear in the right spot. It didn't appear at all. Alright, whatever. Man. Oh my god, that one's gonna... Oh, you have to hit the button again to make it disappear. Okay, that's actually cute. Oh my god. Oh, there aren't any, uh, stopper jams. Yeah, oh, there's the diamond. Oh my god, wow. But uh, anyway, I got one sentence into it, and then got distracted and never went back. So I wonder if there's maybe at least, like, one person was like, hey, you never, uh, you never finished your thought. Oh my god. Dude! Yeah, I'm still unclear on that. Dude, I hit the button when I went through, and then I took five steps away, and then hit the button, and then it appeared, like, way far away from me. Yeah, F you, dude. Okay, that guy will stay down there forever, I hope. But, um, God, what was I even talking about? Oh, I was just giving the example of that time where I, uh, started talking about something and then didn't go back. But, uh, yeah, was I done talking about, like, the, uh, the voice thing? I don't remember. I guess the only other thing I was gonna say is that, um, like, there are, like, people with different voices. Like, if you have a, like, there's people out there, like, uh, like that dude from Alpha Gaming. I forget, what's his name? Hair, uh, Harris, I think? And, uh, but, uh, he's got, like, he's got one of those, like, smooth, buttery kind of voices, and it's just the audio settings just make the voice, like, super extra, like, tasty. You get those people, and they're just like, hello, like, I'm Harris, and I'm your stream doctor, you know? It, it's just the audio settings. But, um, yeah, every, oh my gosh, every, uh, different thing of audio settings or whatever... Like it works better with different voices. So if you go online, I've done this. I've done this thing where, I oh my god, dude, 
Man, this level man is a bitch. But it'll be like, how to improve your audio settings. It's like, okay, change this, change this, set this to this, set this to this. And then I do that and it's like, okay, well it doesn't sound good. It's just because like different people need different amounts of like, uh, like changes or filters or whatever, or macros uh, done to their settings, so. Yeah, so as of right now, um, the only one I do is normalize, and uh, that I'm pretty sure that only affects the volume. It doesn't, um, it doesn't like add fullness. But yeah, the people with those, um, with those super buttery smooth voices, they use the, um, they use the audio settings to like add, like fullness to their uh, voice. Or if they have like a really like tinny kind of voice, it uh, adds like. It, you can add, like, more bass to your voice or whatever to add, like, increase the fullness of it. Which I guess technically it's like... I mean, it's not really what you sound like, so, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's fine. It doesn't affect the content. So I guess it's fine, but, I mean, that's not... If you hear them in real life, that's not really actually what they sound like. It's just their mic settings or their audio settings or whatever. Just make them sound all sultry and whatnot. And like radio DJ friendly. Well, I thought that fucker was gonna go down. But uh, yeah, I'm just using. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I might change it at some point. I don't know. I've been having. I don't know. I kind of landed on this. Like, I mean, there's probably always room for improvement for your audio settings, but like, I'm fine with this. It's fine. But uh, yeah, because I only use normalize. Like, this is what my voice actually sounds like. Like, there, there, there isn't any. Um, like, there aren't any changes to it other than the, uh, the volume. Dude, is there a hidden wall there that I'm supposed to, like, sneak into from the side? I should, uh, I should try that. I should have tried that, like, ten minutes ago. But yeah, man, audio settings are, are, like, really freaking hard to, like, get a grasp on. Like, I've tried looking up definitions of stuff. And it's one of those situations where, like, the definition, like, doesn't explain, like, at all. Like, technically it explains it, but it explains it in a way where you still have no idea, like, what it means. Like, uh, like, if you look up normalize, actually, I, actually, hold on, I gotta, you know what? Okay, here's a good example. I'm, I'm pause, I'm gonna read this. Audio normalization, this is, this is what Google says. Audio normalization is the application of a constant amount of gain to an audio recording to bring the amplitude to a target level. Because the same amount of gain is applied across the entire recording, the signal-to-noise ratio and relative dynamics are unchanged. It's like, okay, well, what does that do, though? What does that mean? Like, how is it going to sound different? What effect is it going to have on the sound? Like, that's what I need to know. Like, if I was like, if I was smart enough to be able to understand the definition, then I would know the definition. Like, I wouldn't need, I wouldn't need to look it up in the first place. But yeah, that's what audio, like, like on Audacity or whatever. There's like tons and tons of different uh, like audio things or whatever. And every single one is like that. You're just like, well, I don't know what it does. You just gotta fiddle with it. Man, I don't know how to get in there. Let me try, can I go to the left through the wall? That would have been sneaky. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, should I even go that way? Should I go this way? Man, why is that guy so freaking fast? Please put a thing down. Why did it put it down all the way over there? That's like so far away. That's clearly not where I wanted to put it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like fiddling with the audio settings. I'm just like, I found one that's like good enough. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just stick with this. Actually, I gotta tell you something funny that happened. Uh, I did go on uh, on Fiverr, where it's like if you need, like if you want someone to like, you know, like draw something or, or you know, like you know, you can basically pay people to uh, to do stuff for you. And um, there's a whole you know category or whatever for um, people that will edit your videos in Audacity. You know, like they'll do your they'll do your sound quality or whatever for you. And, um, I went to this one guy who, I don't know, I, he was probably charging, like, I don't know, 15 or $20, I don't remember. 
and, um... Am I supposed to step left right there? It's the only thing I can think of. Why doesn't that work? I should figure out how to get those, those bottom left ones before I grab all the other ones. There has to be a hidden wall. Hmm. Maybe it's directly on the clock. Like, you have to step onto the clock. Right? Left? I don't think so. Man, do you really have to just do that with, with a diamond right there? Like, the diamond appears, like, so far away, you'd have to, uh... You'd have to beeline it for... You'd have to beeline it for there, and then lose a life. Because even if you kill him, he's just gonna respawn in the hallway, and he can still get you. But to anyway, there was this guy who was like, you know, for fifteen or twenty dollars or however much, I'll do your uh, your audio for your video, you know. And so I messaged him and I was like, hey, could you uh, do audio for for a video and then like send me the macro that you used? A macro is basically just um, like when you when you apply an effect or like a filter or whatever to to uh, to your sound. Or to your audio. God damn, go away! Go away! Why didn't that thing disappear? It lasts so long when you want it to disappear. It never, like, dis it, like it's never disappeared, like, in the nick of time. Man, I don't know what the hell to do. Is there a hidden wall somewhere that, like, leads me all the way around? Like, I'm, like, not, I'm getting to the point where it's like, am I gonna have to, like, don't make me check all these walls, I'll do it! Oh, that freaking door didn't even close on him in time. Wouldn't it be funny if you just press down from the start? Well, I don't know. I mean, it was a good idea, right? It was worth a shot. But, um, I asked if he could, um, and then when you apply one filter, it changes the sound, and then you apply another filter, it changes the sound again. So basically, you want to do the correct sounds in the, or the correct filters in the correct order. Because otherwise, it's like an algebra problem. It's like, well, if you do the steps on order, one step will throw off the rest of it, so it's kind of like that. Where like, if you do the um, if you do the effects in different order, it actually makes the sound different because you're applying it from at, like as a different sound. Uh, hopefully, y'all can follow. Like, are you following what I'm saying or no? Like, if you do one thing, it alters the sound a certain way, and then when you apply a second one, it alters it from that point. But if you do it backwards then it's going to sound different because you apply the second step. Uh, when you apply the second step, the change from the first step was different, depending on what you did first, you know. So I messaged him and I was like, could you uh, uh, send me the macro that you used to do to do it or whatever? And he was like, he was like, no, because when I send the file, there's no way to also send, uh, like, you, like, you can't look, you can't see which macros were applied or whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, like, uh, you know, it was obvious what he was doing. It's like, well, he knows that if he sends me the macro, then I could just use that macro on all my other videos, and then I wouldn't need, I wouldn't need him anymore, you know. So he's like, no, it can't, I can't send it. it. Like, when you send the file, it doesn't send the macros that were applied. So no, I can't do that, man. It's like, okay, I know what you're doing. You just want to make sure that you, you're killing your chance of repeat business if he does it. So I know why he's doing it. But the way, like, his excuse was very stupid. So of course I had to give him shit for it. And I was just like, well, can you just, like, type out? You just type out the macro that you did? Like, just, you know, like, you'd be like... Equalize at this decibel or normalize at this decibel base boost at this decibel or whatever or to this level And I was like could you just like type it out for me like like we're messaging we're typing right now just like type it in the thing And I even offered to pay him extra for uh, doing it that extra step And he was like no he was like I forget what he said, but like he weaseled his way out of it And like I said, I know why he did it because once I have the macro, I don't need him anymore. It's like, well, also, in all fairness, if I gave him, like, once he knows what the macro is, like, not, like, he, like, he didn't want me to have it because then I would just apply it to all my videos and I wouldn't need him anymore. But it's like, well, if I didn't do it, if he kept the macro, then he would know, he would do the same thing to me. Like, then if I made another purchase from him, he would just apply the same macro to me. So it's like, I know what, I know what you're up to, you fucker. So don't think that you're fucking smart, you know? 
But, uh, so yeah, obviously, uh, I did not, uh, we did not reach the, I mean, I don't know, for the most part, I have good experiences on Fiverr, but we just couldn't come to an agreement, so we ended up not doing business. Which is like, it's fine. But yeah, I guarantee, I guarantee if you, uh, like, if I would have done that, you know, he would have had the mic, he would have had the macro saved as my macro, and then if I'm like, hey, I need another video edited, he's like, alright, 20 more dollars, and then I pay him the 20 dollars, and he highlights the whole thing, hits click, apply macro, the one that was, just, that he did for me, he's gonna just apply the same macro, and charge me 20 more bucks, for like, for like 15 seconds of work. So it's like, uh, no, how about not? How about you can go fuck yourself? And, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll just have mediocre audio settings for free. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think I might have talked about this before, but different people's audio, like, sound... Oh, I think I was gonna, like, I was gonna say this. I didn't get to it, though. But, um, like, if you go on YouTube and it's like, what are the best audio settings? Like... Like, every person's voice needs different audio settings to, like, sound the best, you know? So there have been a couple of times where it's like, put this at this, set this to this, and they'll have, like, a step-by-step -step of all the things to do. And I do that, and it, like, doesn't sound good. It's like, well, it sounds good for them because it's their voice. But, like, it just doesn't work, you know, different, like, people with different voices need different audio settings. Oh, the thing makes you, uh, go through the clock. Okay, well, I still have to- Oh, of course, it's my last life! God damn it! Why can't I go down through here? Why aren't there any hidden walls? Okay, so that's what I need to do. Is it really not possible to... to not have to, like, lose a life? Man, I don't know. But, uh, like, I've, like I said, I've done the, the steps or whatever that they suggest, and it, like, does not sound better. So it's like, well, oh my gosh, that's kind of why I wanted someone to like custom do it for my voice or whatever. But it's like, well, I'm gonna need it for more than one video. I make tons and tons of videos, you know, over the course of several years. So I'm not gonna shell out twenty freaking dollars per time per time or whatever. Oh my gosh, is that diamond gonna last? I don't think it's gonna last. God damn it! I didn't. I didn't like see it like in time. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna die on purpose. Okay, so I know that if I get all the the things, the diamond does appear. Man, what sucks is that I'm not even confident that I can uh, get the ones in the lower right and the lower or the upper right without also dying. Man, this level is freaking hard, man. But, uh, yeah, so, so for right now, I'm just using Normalize, which appears to only affect the volume. Because otherwise, when I put it into uh, Camtasia, I have to, like, max out the volume, and it still doesn't sound very loud. And the max, maxing out the volume, supposedly, is, like, um, like, 500%. Like, why is it recording so damn, like, quietly? And even, um, even when I do Normalize, I still set the... I, I still set the volume to, like, 254% or something like that. Okay, so we're gonna take a forced death, or what I perceive to be a forced death. Alright. Okay. Let's, uh, let's not do dumb shit like that. Pretty please. Okay, I think this guy maybe goes a little bit faster, but I can at least stay away from him long enough, I hope. Well, I was gonna go right right there, but I thought that he was gonna try to cut me off. Oh my gosh, he's faster than me! Oh my gosh, okay, shoo. That was lucky. If he wouldn't have done that, I would never have been able to... Oh my god! 
Oh, well, I think I'm toast. I was about to say, unless they both go left. Holy shit, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we're at an episode. We only did one level that time, but man. Yeah, that was freaking rough, man. Okay, so in the next level, or the next episode, we'll hopefully beat one more level. Oh, I did look it up, by the way. I'm pretty sure that these, uh, the, the uh, dollar sign levels are the last level. So I think we have this level and one more, I think, according to the uh, the walkthrough. That's all I looked up. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, thanks, as always, for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.